Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can customize a SharePoint online list form. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now before we get started, what exactly does it mean to customize a SharePoint online list form? Well, if you've ever worked with a SharePoint online list or any SharePoint list for that matter, you've likely used the new item form. Now the new item form is how you can actually enter data into a SharePoint list using a form view. Essentially, the new item form is going to display by default all of the fields or columns that you've defined in your list and it's going to allow users to actually go through each one and populate data. Now with SharePoint Online, you can actually customize that new item form. Specifically, you can hide fields, you can change the order of fields. And what's awesome about it is you can actually do it without even having to code or without having to use anything like JSON or Power Apps. Now, if you are interested in learning about how to do this with either JSON or Power Apps, you'll wanna make sure that you subscribe to my channel as I am going to be publishing videos on those things in the coming weeks. So let's go ahead and let's check it out. All right, now you can see here that I have a SharePoint online list called invoices. And in this list, I have a variety of different columns, including free text, currency, choice type, date type, person type, and I even have some calculated columns in invoice month and invoice year. Now, to bring up the new item form, what you wanna do is you wanna click on the new button, and this is gonna bring up the new item form, which you can use to enter data into your SharePoint list. Now, by default, this form is going to display all of the columns or fields that you've defined in your list. So you can see here title, status, invoice date, customer first name, customer last name, requester, invoice number, BU, and amount. So again, these are all of the columns that I've defined and implemented on this list. Now, if you wanna go ahead and customize this list specifically to either change the order in which these fields appear, or perhaps to hide one or more of these fields, what you want to do from this form view is you wanna go ahead and click on this edit form dropdown. Next, you wanna click on edit columns. And what this is going to do is this is going to bring up the edit columns in the form pane. Now, before we actually go ahead and do this, just a quick note on some limitations with customizing the form view. As you can see in the last sentence here, required columns and columns with conditional formulas can't be hidden. So right off the bat, any field in your list that's defined as required, in my case, status, customer first name and invoice number, you can't hide these. You can change the order in which they appear, but again, if it's required, you are not able to actually hide this and you can see that as these are grayed out, I can't actually check that. Now, the other thing that you can't do is you can't hide fields that have conditional formulas implemented in them, okay? So again, those are sort of the two big constraints when trying to edit the new item form directly from SharePoint without getting into, again, any JSON or perhaps using Microsoft Power Apps. Now to hide a field in the new item menu, what you want to do is you want to uncheck the checkbox to the left of the field name. So I am going to go ahead and uncheck title and I'm also going to go ahead and uncheck BU. Once you've unchecked all of the fields that you want to hide on the form, you wanna go ahead and click save. Now you'll notice here that title and BU did not disappear. Now I've noticed this in my testing that sometimes you'll uncheck those and they will remain on the form. If you go ahead and click back into the edit columns menu, you're going to see perhaps that they're still checked. So you wanna go ahead and uncheck them again. So I'm just gonna uncheck them and click save and they still didn't disappear. So what I found works is to start by clicking on configure layout this is where you could actually come to apply some JSON to change the formatting of your form. So start here and then go back into the edit form menu and click edit columns. 
and then uncheck the fields that you want to hide. So again, I'm going to uncheck title and BU and I'm gonna click save. That's going to leave the formatting menu open. I'm gonna go ahead and click preview and then I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Next, I'll click cancel. And now if I open my new item form, you can see that title, which was the first field has disappeared and BU has disappeared as well. Not entirely sure why I have to make those extra clicks. I did test this a bunch of times uh, and I consistently saw this behavior. So you'll definitely wanna click into the edit configure menu first, then hide the fields and then click preview, save and cancel out of it completely. So that is how to hide fields. If you wanted to re-add fields to the form, again, from the new item menu, you want to click on the edit columns dropdown. Again, start with configure layout and then click on the dropdown again and come back into the edit columns menu and go ahead and add your fields to the form. So I'll just click BU and title again and I'm gonna click save. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click preview. I'm gonna click save. I'm gonna click cancel. And now when I click new, we would expect to see both BU and title added to the form again. And you can see here that they're at the bottom of the form. Now to change the order in which fields appear on the form, again, from the new item menu form, you wanna click on the edit form dropdown and you want to click on configure layout. Then you wanna click on it again and come back into edit columns. And really what you need to do is you just need to drag and drop the fields into your desired position. So you can see here, when I hover my cursor slightly to the left of the checkbox, I can see the lines that indicate I can actually reposition these fields. You just wanna go ahead and you wanna drag them into position. Now what I'll do is I'll grab title and just bring this right back to the top. And I'll also bring amount right below title. Once you've positioned all of your fields the way you want them, then go ahead and click save. And again, I recommend clicking preview and then clicking save, click cancel. And when you come back into your new item form, you can see here title and amount are now positioned at the very top of the form. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how you can customize the SharePoint online list new item form without having to use coding, without having to use JSON or Power Apps. If you are interested in learning how to do this using JSON and or Power Apps, be sure to subscribe. As I mentioned earlier in the tutorial, I am going to be publishing videos on those topics. So that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Iacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.